Hey everybody, Gordo here. Welcome back to another video. Um, a while back I did a video where I was testing the Spartan Armor Systems AR500 plate and I thought it'd be fun to get several different kinds of their armored plate and run them through the same tests that damage the regular 500. Uh, so I have some AR500, some AR550, and some AR650. And the 500, 550, 650, 650. The numbers on the armor plate, uh, the 500, 550, 650, that usually refers to the hardness of the steel. And typically, the harder the steel is, the more brittle. So let's see if it makes any difference. Um, that's what this video is going to find out. So the original video I did, there were several questions raised about whether the XM193 penetrated the AR500 because the plate had already been compromised by the 30 6 and the shotgun slug. So I'm going to shoot a brand new prist pristine plate with the XM193 to start with. Now I've got it down range already set up and there's a watermelon behind it so we should be able to tell if it penetrates how much power it has. So let's just get on with it and see what it does. So just from here, I can see that it penetrated the plate and damaged the watermelon. Oh, damn it. Bug flew in my eye. Shit. Uh, what do you think? Eight, fifth time's the charm? Okay. So from here, I can see that the XM193 penetrated the plate and it tore the watermelon up. Um, it didn't do as much damage as shooting a watermelon with a regular... 5.56 five, round because that watermelon just exploded as I you know I did in my watermelon destruction video okay so I wanted to show you the plate from the XM193 so let's see if I can get the camera to focus here it is there we go so I mean it blew right through nice neat perfect hole right through the AR500 plate here's the back where it just kind of bulged out just a little bit um, so less damage to the plate okay so there was less damage to the plate because when I shot it the other one before it blew just it took just a chunk out it didn't make a nice neat hole so obviously the uh, the plate being compromised from the 30-06 round uh, clearly caused more damage to the plate but it's still the plate still didn't stop it so let's move on to the AR550. All right, now I've got the AR550 plate set up down there and we're gonna hit it first off with the XM193. Uh, I don't expect the plate to stop this round simply because it's, not, it's beyond what it's designed to do. It's not designed to stop a very small, very fast round. And that's what the XM193 is. The XM193 is a 55 grain round. It's going about 32, 3300 feet per second. So let's go, let's get to it and see how it does. Well, the watermelon's more intact. Let's go check out and see how badly damaged or if I just totally missed the plate and it fell over. So, let's go take a look. <coughs> okay, I actually did hit the plate. I hit it pretty close to where I hit the 500, but it did not penetrate. Let's see if we can get this to focus. There we go. Uh, it tore the heck out of this, this coating they put on it to stop the splatter. Um, but it did not go through. It's a slight dent. Let me turn it on its back. Here's where it hit. Uh, can you see it? Yeah, you can kind of see. It's just a little dimple. Uh, that's all it did to the plate. Um, I'm impressed. I didn't expect it to stop it. I thought the 650 might stop it, but I didn't expect the 552. Um, so that was a surprise. Good job, Spartan Armor Systems. Uh, let's move on to the, five, the 650 and see how that does versus the XM193.
Okay, so now we have this AR650. Uh, we're going to hit it with the XM193. Uh, the AR550 stopped the bullet, so I have high hopes for the 650. Let's see what it does. Well, it knocked our melon around, but that could have just been the kinetic energy pushing it. Let's go. Let me go get the plate, and we'll check out and see how it did. All right, here's our XM, or not XM, fucking hell. The sun's baking my brain. Here is the AR650. Uh, we had a good solid hit. It did about the same amount of damage as the it did to the 550. Uh, let me see if we can get a good zoom in on here. Focus. So if the coating's peeled up just a little bit where it wasn't on the 550, but the damage is about the same. It dimpled the back. Let's see if I can get it to where. Yeah, you can see it. Maybe the dimple is slightly less than the 550, but you know this is this is rated for uh, the National Institute of Justice three plus. So yay, it stopped it. Good job. Um, I believe the XM one ninety three is outside of the range for three plus. I'm going to cut this out because I should know what the fuck I'm talking about. So let's. All right, let's move on to the shotgun slug. It. Next up, we're going to do our 12 gauge slug. It's a one ounce slug and two and three quarter inch shell. Um, this didn't penetrate the AR 500 last time, so I don't expect it to this time. Uh, why am I redoing these tests? If I've already done them and I already know, well, a couple of reasons. One, I wanted to have the comparison of all three uh, different plates in, you know, the same setting, same temperature to, no, to limit the variables. And the other is that since then, I've got a better high-speed camera that does four times as slow, and I thought it might look cool. Maybe it won't. Who knows? So let's get on with it and try the slug. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't loading. All right. Let's try the slug. Oh! While the melon broke apart, um, I would bet that's from the kinetic energy. So let me go get the plate and we will see. Okay, here's the, the plate after the shotgun. The coating just kind of peeled off as happened last time. Let's see if we can uh, get it to focus. It hit right there. Slightly dimpled. Uh, not terribly damaged. I can't really tell. Oh, my face, let me back up a little bit. I can't really tell that it did much. I mean, it made a nice pattern. But it, yeah, you know, if you were hit with this, you'd still be alive. The watermelon just kind of broke apart from the kinetic energy because it's been, it was the same watermelon as the uh, XM193. So, all in all, you know, it stopped it as expected. Let's move on to the uh, 550 with the shotgun slug and see how that does. All right, we have the uh, AR550 set up. Let's shoot it with the same one ounce slug. And uh, we'll see how that does. I don't expect this to penetrate, but it might break my melon. I hope it doesn't, because that's the last melon I got, but let's find out. Oh. Yeah, it broke it. So, let's go get the plate and see how the damage went. Here's the 550. Here's where I hit it with the slug. Some of the coating's actually embedded in the steel. Ugh. Let me, uh, so it did damage the steel a little bit. It's slightly deformed. You focused? Yeah, you're focused. Uh, but other than that, it did fine. Again, there's a big difference in how the coating reacted. So I'm not sure 
why that is you can see the back there's no no real damage there's uh it's bent so the plates doing plates are doing fine now on the back side the coating on the back side of the plate has started to peel off uh, i'm not sure why that would happen but it did so let's move on to the 650 plate with the slug okay let's try the 650 and uh see how that handles the, the 12 gauge slug whoa that had an effect all right let me get the plate and we'll see how it did Okay, here is the plate. Let me try to get in and get a good view of it. There's where the shotgun hit. I mean, the, the outer coating just fell off. Uh, hopefully you can see the dent. There's the dent by the, the shotgun slug. And there's the dent by the XM193 5.56. Um, I'm not sure why the outer coating just flew off like that. To me, that's somewhat of a concern. Uh, because it's supposed to stop shrapnel instead it just kind of blew off but let's uh let's move on and to the 30-06 steel core and see how each plate handles that so now let's try my 30-06 with steel core uh let's see how bad that does it didn't penetrate last time it badly damaged the plate last time but which is why i did it last this time so let's just see how it does Yet. All right, let me get the plate and see how much damage it was done. So 30-06 steel core result. Uh, let's see if we can focus in. It did actually penetrate the plate. Not sure if you can see how you can see through it. Um, it hit right where the shotgun hit. See the back, it just, uh, oh, there it is. Just punched a hole right through it. So... I think this happened because it hit right, well, no, it didn't. It hit the fresh part of the plate. So here's the 5.56, the XM193. Here's where our shotgun hit. And then up here is where the steel core, and it went right through it. Uh, so let's, uh, it didn't happen last time, so I don't know. Something must have been slightly different. Let's move on. Uh, Let's move on to the 550 and shoot it and see how that does with the steel core 30 out 6. Okay. Let's uh I got the AR550 set uh, set up down there. Let's shoot it with the 30 out 6 steel core and see what happens. All right, let me get the plate and we'll see how bad the damage is. Okay, here's where I hit with the steel core. Let me zoom in here so you can see it real good. Um, there's the shotgun and there's the steel core and it badly dented the plate. Uh, so the plate's damaged. Let's see if you can see the back here. Right there. Uh, but it did stop the bullet. So, let's move on to the 650 and see how that goes. We've got our AR650 plate set up down there. Let's hit it with our 30-06 steel core and see what that does. All right, so it obviously hit the plate and went flying. Let me go get the plate and see how badly damaged it is. So here is the plate. There's the damage from the 30-06. God, this plate's hot. 
There's the 5.56 five, and there's the shotgun. So it stopped all three of them. Man. Man, that's hot. Yeah, it's hot in August. And it's hot in June. Go friggin' figure. Uh, so the 6.50 stopped all of the rounds, um, which is impressive in and of itself. Um, I think the 550 actually fared a little better. Let me go get it and we'll compare it. Okay, so here's the 550 on your right, and here's the 650. Um, ow, dang, that's hot. It's been sitting in the sun, so it's really hot to hold. So the damage is actually worse on the 650. The dent is deeper than on the 550. But other than that, you know, they both stopped the plate. I am concerned about the uh, the cover coming off, and I'm going to reach out to Spartan Armors to find out what they have to say. Uh, so my conclusion is if I was going to pick one of these to wear, I'd pick the 550 because the, it took the least amount of damage from the 30-06 and the same amount with the other rounds. And more importantly, the splatter coating didn't come off. So if I got hit again... Uh, I wouldn't have to deal with little bits of bullets splattering up into my into my chin or under my arm. So that's my choice. Um, if you think I did something wrong in this video, put it in the comments below and I'll try and address it. Um, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, click on the subscribe button. And as always, take care everybody. Oof.